Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Mal with Made by Manny and Mal. In my last St. Patrick's Day video, I made a really bright and fun tumbler, and this one is a little bit darker, but still fun. This one was really easy and fun to put together, so I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. All the supplies I'm using are listed down below in the description box. I've also got links to all of my social media pages, my Facebook group, and my Patreon group. Okay, I think that's it. I hope you like the video. Let's go! We are gonna jump right in with a powder coated black skinny straight. This is a 20 ounce one from Craft Haven. And I've got a little bit of leftover epoxy that I had mixed up. So I'm gonna use the epoxy method to apply my glitter. And I'm going to use the glitters that I used in my Be Kind to Your Mind tumbler that I did a couple weeks ago. I have a bunch of this glitter left over and I thought it might be kind of cool to put them on a black base and see what they look like. So I'm going to do a little bit of a like rainbow ombre on this cup. It's not really necessary for the final design, but... I wanted to see what all of them look like on black and it was the perfect opportunity. So you can use any kind of like shifting opal glitter, anything that would kind of change its color when it gets onto a black base um, would be perfect for this design. So I started with my darkest color on the bottom, which is my like hot fire coral color. And then I went in with my orange and now I'm going to take my yellow and just kind of blend those together. Now these on a black base really blend pretty seamlessly. The transition from color to color is very smooth because you're really not seeing too, too much of the color. It's kind of just like a hint of color, um, kind of like a LaCroix is the hint of whatever flavor it is. That's what this reminds me of. It's like LaCroix glitter. It's not full flavor like soda, but it just gives you a little bit of that. Am I crazy or does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, so I went in with my green and now finally I'm going in with my light aqua color, my Tiffany blue kind of vibe color. And I'm just going to cover the entire top portion of the cup. I'm not going to go back and forth too much here trying to blend. I'm just going to put the colors on the cup, tap off any excess, and now I'm going to go in and do my cheat blending kind of. I'm taking sea glass which is a fine cut opal color from PDB. And I'm going to put this all over the entire surface of the cup, which is going to help fill in any gaps and blend all of our colors together. So once that glitter layer dried, I let it sit about three to four hours. I went in with my first coat of epoxy. I didn't bother spray sealing these or doing anything like that. I don't care if these colors move all over the cup. Um, so I'm just going right into epoxy. So I did two coats on the cup and this is what we've got. I'm going to use a wrap from Banff Custom Creations. This came in her subscription box. Um, it had a whole bunch of St. Patrick's Day designs and I really like this one with the clovers and thought it would be kind of cute on this kind of dark rainbow base. So I added a line of tape up and down my cup just vertically as you can see there. This is just going to help me place my vinyl in a straight line. I cut off any excess from the top. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I will use it for something. And now I'm just going to apply this the same way I would a vinyl wrap. I'm going to line the edge of this vinyl up with my tape line. And then you can see there, it's got a little bit of a clear border. So it is lined up with that tape, even though it doesn't look like it. I'm going to remove my tape and then slowly push the vinyl onto the cup. And the way I usually do it is just with my thumbs. I'll just go back and forth and push the vinyl onto the cup. But you can also use your scraper tool. This vinyl um, is pretty durable and pretty strong. So you can go in and just push it on with even just the plastic part of your scraper. It doesn't need to be the felt edge. As long as you're careful, you can get it on there pretty easily. Um, so once I've met the seam or I'm close to meeting the seam, I'm going to cut off all my excess and you can see it's overlapped there. I'm going to pull this up. This isn't really repositionable. It's not like the gracefully created clear wraps where you can take them off and then put them right back on. So these are, these are a little bit more difficult to work with, but what I'm going to do here is cut out with my craft knife, any of the clovers that have that edge on them that have kind of been partially cut off. I'm going to go through with my craft knife and just trim those away. And I'm going to allow this vinyl to overlap, but I don't want any of those cut clovers with the straight edge. 
I want them to all be full clovers. So even though they're overlapping, you won't really be able to tell that it's a seam. It'll just look like a second layer of clovers and blend a little bit better. So I cut off any excess that I could and then I just smoothed the rest of the vinyl onto the cup. And now I'm going to do the same with this top piece of vinyl. I'm gonna cut away all of those straight edge clovers. And you'll see that you see a little bit of overlap, but you don't really know why. Like it doesn't look like a seam. I hope that makes sense. So now I'm going to use my cup edging tool from my friend Brooke at Cami Page Boutique. This is one of her new items in her tumbler making tools line. I do have a link and a discount code down in the description. But what I'm going to do basically is just hold this up against, there's a blade in here. I'm gonna turn my cup on it and it's going to cut a perfectly straight line so I can get rid of all this excess vinyl at the bottom. Typically what I would do is pull that vinyl down under that bottom rim and create a seamless finish under there. But this vinyl doesn't stretch too much so I'm just gonna trim it off and it'll all blend in in the end and you won't be able to tell anyway. So then up at the top, I'm going to do the same thing I always do with my vinyl wraps. I'm gonna heat up that excess vinyl up at the top so I can pull it tightly over that top rim and get a really, really good seal with my vinyl up there. And then I'm going to trim off the excess with my craft knife. Just be careful, don't heat up your vinyl too much, don't burn your fingies, and be careful with your knife, of course. So once I've finished getting rid of all that excess vinyl at the top rim, I'm ready to move on to my next step. I'm going to use some foils from Artistic Painting Studio to give a few of these clovers a little bit of extra oomph to them. So I'm using nickel and high dye blue, and I'm going to use my Speedball Metal Leaf Adhesive. I just got it on Amazon, and I'm using a tiny little detailing paintbrush just a small one I got a pack of like a million on Amazon and I just have a ton of them so anyway I'm going to paint a little bit of this adhesive onto a random clover I'm not going to foil all of these I just wanted to do a few to give them a little bit of oomph like I said and I'm going to hit it with my heat gun to dry it just a little bit you don't want it to be so dry that it's not tacky anymore but you also don't want it to be so wet that nothing sticks um, if you don't have this adhesive or you don't want to get it, you can also use Tack It. If you have that, you can use it. Um, it works pretty much the same way. I just prefer the Speedball. It just works better for me personally. But whatever works for you, go for it. Use it. Um, and what I'm doing here is just taking this foil and using a big popsicle stick to rub it on in just a few little pieces. I'm not looking for full coverage here. I just want a little bit of foil on areas of these clovers. If you want full coverage, you can absolutely achieve it. You just need to be a little bit more diligent in your coverage with your foil, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of alternating between the nickel and the tie-dye colors, just doing them on random clovers, getting little bits of foil on each one. I'm picking mostly the large clovers, but doing a few of the smaller ones as well. Um, I'm just going to continue doing this all over the cup until I'm happy with the amount of foil that I've got. I'm gonna let this foil adhesive and everything dry overnight, and then I'm going to go in with another coat of epoxy. I'm taking about 15 milliliters of a little extra ink epoxy, of course. I'm gonna put that all over my cup, and then in this coat of epoxy, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter to give this an extra layer. This is a custom glitter mix I put together. I will have the recipe posted. I posted this on TikTok, so I'll have the recipe posted. Um, and I'm also going to take Key Lime from PDB. This is a chunky iridescent green. It's beautiful. Um, so then first taking my custom mix, I'm putting just a tiny, tiny bit of this on there. And then I'm really gonna go in with Key Lime and just sprinkle that all over the place. Key Lime doesn't give too much coverage, but it does add a lot of sparkle and dimension. Then I'm gonna hit it with my torch to pop any bubbles, let it spin, and then add another thin coat on top of that to smooth all my glitter out. So this is where we're at now. We are ready to apply our decal. For this decal, I'm going to use this beautiful holographic gold vinyl from TechRap Craft. 
I will have that linked in the description box as well, along with a discount code. And I'm using my SVG that I put together. This is available in my digital collective shop on Etsy. And I'm just going to put it straight on the cup. I didn't make an offset. This vinyl pops on its own, so it doesn't really need an offset. Um, I did spray this with a coat of matte clear to seal the vinyl in, and then I added my two final coats of epoxy. So here is the final result. I really like how this cup turned out. I know you can't really see all of those glitter colors underneath, but it does kind of give it a cool little layer of dimension and make it look kind of cool. So I like how it turned out. I hope that you do as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. Makes it a little darker. What am I talking about?